banish the guilt. First and foremost, don't beat yourself up if you have had an especially indulgent Christmas and New Year. Remember that it's what you eat on a regular basis that affects your long-term well-being, not that extra helping of Christmas pudding on the 25th of December. Think balance not deprivation. After a festive blowout, it can be very easy to fall into the mindset that you need to go on an extreme detox or diet, but these are almost always ineffective. Yo-yo dieting and calorie restriction can have a slowing effect on the metabolism. In other words, they can impact on your ability to lose weight in the long term. On top of this, when you restrict calories, levels of your hunger hormones go up substantially, revving up your appetite and testing your willpower. Don't get on the scales. After a few days of Christmas eating, you are likely to weigh a bit more. This normally isn't because you've gained body fat, but because you've retained water due to the extra salt you've consumed in all that festive food. Clear your house of the Christmas leftovers. If it isn't there, you can't eat it. But if you know that you have a kitchen full of biscuits, chocolate and Christmas cake, you will eventually succumb, research says so. Plan ahead. Most of us are in goal-setting mode in January, making it the perfect time to get organized. The hormone ghrelin, released by the stomach when you're hungry, is thought to activate the brain's reward system and draw us to high-calorie junk food. By taking your own home-prepared lunch and snacks to work, you can make well-thought-out choices, rather than those that are fueled by hunger. Spend a couple of hours on a Sunday preparing some food for the week, and you will be thankful for it once the madness of your week begins. Make specific exercise goals. The second week in January is almost always the busiest of the year for gyms, full of shiny new leggings and great intentions. However, statistics show that attendance numbers nearly always drop off back to normal by mid-February. For those of us who aren't natural exercise bunnies, simply going to the gym more is just too vague a commitment. The key is to make very specific exercise goals e.g. two spinning classes a week and a yoga class every Sunday. Plan your exercise in advance and physically schedule this in your diary each week to make sure it happens. Walk more. Exercise not only burns calories, but boosts self-esteem and puts you in a positive mindset, further encouraging you to make healthier food and lifestyle choices. Thanks for watching.